So last year I was riding uh, my first MS-150 and uh, completed the first day. Um, I rode with the Houstonian Hammerheads. On the second day we were about 25 miles from the finish and a rider about, we were in a pace line of about 20 people and a rider about four or five people ahead of me um, clipped the tire of the person in front of him and so everyone immediately put on their brakes and I was um, I just didn't react quite in time and I was really close to the the rider in front of me and so I hit his tire and went straight down. So the first thing I remember is waking up in the ambulance and having an oxygen mask on being transported to um, the hospital in Austin. I had a concussion, um, grade one, and uh, they at the hospital they did a CT scan. A concussion occurs when there is a direct or indirect blow to the brain and it results in many chemical changes as well as blood flow disruption. So when an athlete or an individual after concussion tries to mentally exert or they may engage in physical activity, oftentimes the symptoms worsen as a result of the brain not being able to regulate or modulate the increase in blood flow. There's some pretty typical symptoms that are associated with concussion. Now not every person has the exact same symptoms that another person with a concussion exhibits, but many typical symptoms include things like headache, dizziness, sense of fogginess or feeling confused, um, sleeping deficits maybe in the days that um, follow the concussion, feeling like you cognitively can't attend to things, you can't pay attention, and perhaps even emotional changes. So it's really important that cyclists also undergo the same precautions pre-injury, much like other athletes do. So I would really recommend that cyclists also undergo baseline neuropsychological test testing to see how their brain is with a healthy brain in terms of their cognitive abilities. And if there is a concussion, it's one tool that we can use after the injury to see how someone's cognitive functioning has returned to normal with their injury. Wearing a helmet is very important. Now, I do want to stress that a helmet doesn't necessarily protect someone from getting a concussion, but it does protect against skull fractures and bleeds, more serious structural abnormalities that can happen with the brain. Um, it's important that just because you have a helmet on doesn't mean you couldn't have suffered a concussion. Well, I'm really glad I had my helmet, let's just put it that way. And I will never ride with anyone that is not wearing a helmet. I will force them to wear a helmet. I mean, I think my helmet saved my life. I think that cycling has not necessarily received as much attention as other high-impact collision sports like football, soccer, hockey. However, I think moving forward with greater awareness in the media about concussions that are occurring in just everyday folks, recreational activities, I think the awareness will continue to be heightened in this particular sport. 